When you're completely committed to caring for the heart, it shows. You'll see an Arkansas's largest group of cardiologists. And recognize it in the state's most experienced heart surgeons. It's reflected in the skilled nurses and the latest technology. And hospitals staffed with all the other specialists that heart patients need. Well, they put all their hearts into caring for mine. St. Vincent Heart Clinic, Arkansas, and the Jack Stevens Heart Institute. February is American Heart Month. It's also a great time to ask, are you at risk for heart disease or possibly having a heart attack? Here's Dr. Scott Reipkema with more in today's St. Vincent Corner Clinic report. Heart disease is the leading cause of death in the United States, so that's why it's very important for people to be aware of what kind of heart disease risk factors that they have personally. There's really five major risk factors that we focus on. The first is smoking, so if someone smokes, they really need to focus on getting off cigarettes. Second would be hypertension, so it's very important for people to know what their blood pressure is. Third risk factor that we look at is high cholesterol, so it's very important for people to eat a low-fat, healthy diet and to know what their cholesterol numbers are and whether they would benefit from medication. A fourth risk factor is diabetes. Uh, diabetics are twice as likely to have heart disease as a non-diabetic, so it's important for people to be screened for diabetes. And then the fifth risk factor is sedentary lifestyle and inactivity, so it's very important for people to engage in physical activity and uh, to make sure that they're at their ideal body weight. Is there anything you can do to lower your risk? The number one thing is prevention. So if you have these risk factors, you need to work on lifestyle changes and medications with your physician to control these risk factors. What are the symptoms of possible heart disease? Well, the number one symptom that we worry about is chest pain or angina. So people who get pressure and ache sensation in the chest or sometimes uh, overt pain, but sometimes it can just be a, a dull uh, ache sensation. Sometimes it can radiate to the neck or the jaw or down to the left arm. Another big symptom is shortness of breath. So when someone has shortness of breath that, that is new uh, or unusual for them, that can often be a sign of heart disease. It's very important for people to pay attention to the risk factors and get with their physician and um, make sure that they're having everything addressed. On average, people at low risk of heart disease live 10 years longer than those at high risk. And it's a good idea to talk to your children about heart healthy options because many lifestyle habits begin in childhood. For today's St. Vincent Corner Clinic Report, I'm Jancy Sheets.